Liberty Process. Liberty Process Freedom Series Hopper Pump Model 2 FJL 2.6. Freedom Series Sanitary Progressive Cavity Pumps. The FFL and FJL Freedom Series Sanitary Pumps are manufactured specifically for use in food, beverage, and cosmetic industries. The construction is rugged and simple, and the design is focused on fast disassembly for effective cleaning. The media contacting metallic parts with their characteristic polished smooth finish are comprised of 316 stainless steel. Liberty's wide throat hopper inlets, utilizing a coupling rod mounted auger, are perfect for media that is highly viscous in nature. Instructions for pump assembly. Tools required. A 10 millimeter wrench. A 17 millimeter wrench. A center punch. A hammer and dowel rod. A small spanner wrench. A rubber mallet pliers, and an armor press or hydraulic press. Although not shown in this video, be sure to pack all bearings properly with grease before installing them into the bearing frame. Drive shaft assembly. Lubricate the shaft and install the rotating half of the mechanical seal. Make sure the rubber side is facing the joint and the carbide seal face is facing the keyway. Make sure the stationary face is installed in the mechanical seal housing. Install the seal housing in the correct orientation. Add the flinger ring. Next, install the grease seal, open side towards the keyway. Set the first bearing on top of the drive shaft to prepare it for installation. Place the drive shaft and bearing into a press, keyway side down. Press the drive shaft through the first bearing register. Make sure the shaft is still straight, then continue pressing the shaft until the bearing seats against the shoulder. Drive shaft assembly installation into bearing housing. Be sure to pack all bearings with grease before installing them into the bearing frame. If the snap ring has been removed from the bearing housing, use a pair of snap ring pliers to install it back into the housing. Place the second bearing into the top of the housing. Press the bearing until it seats against the snap ring. Flip the housing in the press, situating it so that only the drive shaft, not the pre-installed bearing, will exit the bottom of the housing. Add the spacer to the drive shaft assembly and insert it into the bearing housing, keyway first. Press the drive shaft into the housing until the stationary half of the seal stops against the seat. Remove the housing from the press and place it into a vise vertically secured at the drive shaft. Install the tab washer in the correct orientation, guided by the slot on the shaft. Install the lock nut, bevel side down, and tighten by hand. Use a small spanner wrench to tighten the lock nut the rest of the way. Use a hammer and punch to bend a tab into the slot on the lock nut.
place the housing in a press, keyway up, in order to seat the locked bearing. Press the drive shaft and bearing into the housing until the bearing is seated. Remove the housing from the press and place it vertically in a vise secured at the keyway. Make sure your bearings are packed with grease. Use a hammer and dowel to install the grease seal. Flip the housing vertically in the vise. Install and secure the bearing cover by using the four 10mm bolts and tightening in an alternating pattern. Hopper installation. Secure the housing to a workbench at the pump foot. Install the casing o-ring onto the seal housing. Attach the hopper by guiding the four hopper bolts through the openings on the mating surface of the housing. Install four nuts and washers and tighten with a 17mm wrench. Rotor installation into stator. Secure the stator in a vise horizontally. Lubricate the rotor with liquid soap. Install the rotor into the stator as much as you can by hand. Insert a sturdy punch into the pin slot on the rotor and turn it clockwise. Install the rotor only until the opposite end of the rotor is flush with the interior wall of the stator. Connecting rod installation onto rotor. Prepare the connecting rod by installing the o-ring and sleeve onto one side. Insert the prepared end of the connecting rod into the rotor head and line up the holes. Insert the rotor head pin and install with a hammer. Slide the cover sleeve all the way down to the shoulder, using a hammer and punch if necessary. Guide the o-ring into the groove to keep the sleeve in place. Connecting assembly installation onto drive shaft. Prepare the end of the connecting rod with an O-ring and cover sleeve. Insert the connecting rod into the open end of the hopper. If needed, insert a sturdy punch into the pinholes on the drive shaft and rotate it so the hole is on top. Line up the holes of the connecting rod with the holes on the drive shaft and insert the pin. Center the pin using hammer and punch if necessary. Slide the cover sleeve all the way to the shoulder. Install the o-ring into the groove, keeping the sleeve in place. Pump discharge installation. Install the discharge fitting onto the end of the stator. 
Add the pump foot to the stator. Install the four tie rod bolts by screwing the shorter threaded end into the base plate on the hopper. Install the four sets of nuts and washers onto the tie rods and tighten with a 17mm wrench. Check the tightness of the bolts for even tightening to be sure the feet are flat and square. Final pump assembly. Install the coupling onto the discharge. Install the key into the keyway on the drive shaft using a rubber mallet. Your pump is now completely assembled and can now be reinstalled into the pump system. Feel free to celebrate accordingly. If you have any questions about or require spare parts for the repair of your Liberty Process Freedom Series 2 FJL 2.6 hopper pump, please feel free to contact us at www.libertyprocess.com. We always have complete pumps and all spare parts in our inventory ready to ship the same day.